In today's video, we're going to teach you how to tie a bow tie and another bow tie. Hello everybody, welcome to Miranda Classic Ties. So in today's video, we're going to show you how to tie a cotton bow tie as well as the traditional silk bow tie. Now there's little differences in tying them. Really the main difference is going to be with silk, you have the nice slipperiness of the material to be able to fold and tie and be able to tuck and uh, adjust your bow tie a little bit easier. With cotton, uh, you get a little bit more structure, but to tie it is just a tad more difficult. But the fabric does lend itself to kind of sticking a little bit. It doesn't have the nice slipperiness like silk does. So we're gonna show you how to tie a cotton bow tie first. So let's begin. So with your cotton bow tie, like this one, this is one of our reversible cotton bow ties. You have a nice purple plaid on one side and then a nice light purple chambray on the other. Now these bow ties are made from repurposed fabric. And if you wanna check them out, click on some of the links below and it'll bring you to our Etsy account. And then you can see and purchase actually this one right here. On the back here, you have your adjustable tri slides. So I believe my neck size is about 16 and a half. It goes right about there. Now I like my bow ties to be just a tad bit smaller. If you like them a little bit bigger, then you can actually extend this uh, depending on the size of your neck and depending on the size that you want your bow tie. Now in this demonstration, I'm going to have this be the main portion of the tie and the other side is going to show over the knot. So you'll see what I mean when I start tying it. So drape the bow tie over your neck like so. Make sure your collar is up. I like to button it all the way. If you don't, you can unbutton this. But what we're going to do is drape the left part here, uh, which is my left, your right, over. And we're going to pull it just a little bit because you're going to need more material here to tie that knot. And you'll see why. So we're going to Put it right about there. And it may take a couple of tries to get exactly the length that you need, depending on your neck size, depending on the style of the bow tie as well, and the material. So what we're going to do is just do a simple knot. So bring it in and through, and bring it snug up to the top button of your shirt. Now with this piece here, you're going to see the bow shape, of course. Now take your finger or your thumb and just move it across where you're going to have your bow tie. You can kind of already see that's the shape of the bow tie. Take this piece that you have and drape it over and center it. Now you're gonna notice that when you pinch these, like little butterfly wings, pinch them together, you're gonna to have a little hole right here. And that's what you want. So if you don't see that hole in there, then you may have folded that first piece incorrectly. So let me show you again. I'll take it apart slowly. This piece here, you can drape it over here if you want. So we have just a simple knot. Now this piece here, don't go like this, go like this. So you use your finger as a guide like this to bring it over. Then you put this over the center like so. Pinch these together and again, you're going to have that little hole right in the back here. So making sure to pinch these together and keep them nice and tight, you're going to already start to make a bow with this end, but you're gonna kind of smush it together because it needs to go through that. So pinch the material together. So start to make the bow with it, pinch the material together and push it through that hole in the back of your bow tie. So at first it's gonna look a little messy, but you're going to adjust this tail here, this tail here, and just adjust it and center it. And this piece here, you see how it's folded like this? Just force it, just adjust it. And you're going to have a loop here. You're gonna have a loop here. So with your fingers in those loops, you can tighten and adjust your bow tie like so. So just tug on it and tighten it and adjust it 
as you see fit. And if you'd like to have a bow tie with a little bit of that dimple in there, then you'll see that start to form. And again, you can force and wrinkle the material to make it look uniform. Some guys like it a little askew, which is kind of cool. I like it as symmetrical as possible without looking like it's a pre-tie bow tie. So make sure to put your collar down, adjust as necessary, making sure that it's covering all the way around. You don't want your collar flicked up like this or anything. So make sure that it's all nice and uniform and tucked under your collar shirt and adjust. All right, not too bad. Again, adjust it as you see fit. Now with this reversible bow tie, you will see here, the color here, the color here. So just add some dimension to your bow tie. Not bad, right? That wasn't too hard. All right, let's try it with silk. So now we have our silk bow tie. The nice thing about these, it, it does have the neck sizes back here. Now again, I traditionally don't put it on my neck size because I like the bow ties just a tad smaller. I don't like them gigantic and spread out. So I put it about an inch and a half or so. I think I said around 15 for your neck size or for my neck size. So again, drape it over. You're going to have the left side here. So my left, your right, be a little bit longer because this is what you are tying around. Do your simple knot. So in and through like so and make sure that it's tight up to uh, the button as close as possible. Again, you can drape it over here or leave it down here. It doesn't really matter. But take this end here and your finger, either pointer finger or thumb, and bring it over. You're gonna see what's happening here. So don't go like this. Bring it out here, put your finger, use as a guide, and guide it over. And have your other tail piece go over here and center it over. So pinch together. You should have that little hole right there. Perfect. So again, start to make the bow with this part here. Now, as you start to tie more and more bow ties, you'll see what's comfortable for you. Sometimes you can fold it this way. Sometimes you can fold it this way and force it through. If it's a reversible, if you want a certain side of it shown through, you can kind of force it through to show whichever side. This is not reversible, so we're not really worried about that. So I'm going to fold it and kind of pinch it together. Make sure you have a little hole there and force it through the hole. Again, at this point, you're going to adjust it and you might feel that you can twist it this way or twist it this way. But again, it doesn't really matter at this point because it's not a reversible bow tie. So adjust it, put your finger in this loop here and this loop that you just forced through and you can adjust it as necessary. You kind of use your thumb back here to hold this end. Just put your finger through the loop, both loops and just pull to adjust. You'll feel the material be able to give and then you can start to center and fix and adjust as necessary. I like to have this piece nice and uniform and straight down. All right, that's looking pretty good. So let's pop our collar or put our collar down, making sure it's all the way around covered. All right, let's see how that looks. Not too bad. I'll adjust it a little bit more. Again, I'll show you, put my finger through the loop and just tug at it to make sure that it's tight. And there you go, you have those little dimples in there. Now you see under the tie here, it doesn't really matter if it's a little bit messy because you can adjust it so it looks nice, like so. Now, if this tail is sticking out like that, that's where you put your finger in the loop here and you pull it in and you adjust it. And again, I don't like to have a gap here. With a bow tie, you might have a little bit of a gap, but that's not a problem. 
And that's how you tie a silk bow tie. So if you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section down below. And if you want to purchase any of our bow tie selections, we have many different cotton reversible and single sided bow ties, then definitely check out our link down below that goes to our website and our Etsy account. Now these bow ties are custom made and made from repurposed material. So if you have say a dress shirt, that you don't wear anymore, it's maybe stained, too small, too large, then send it in to us and we can make you either a necktie, a bow tie, a pocket square, or a lapel pin, or all four, from one dress shirt. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up, like it if you've enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. That way you get notifications each time our videos drop. And remember, don't be afraid to dress up. It makes you look good and feel good. Have a great day.